Hey, Mark Nelson, I have a very special guest today. This young man, Ryan Reed, is a family friend, and we have watched him since we've been in Knoxville kind of change careers and build himself up to be a businessman and a photographer. So today we're going to talk about that journey. It's really exciting. So without further ado, here is Ryan. Really excited to have you here, Ryan. It's a um, one, it, it's from being a family friend to, to being our friends. It, it's yeah. been fun to watch. And, um, you know, when we moved down to Knoxville, you were one of the first people we met. Yeah. <laughs> you know, working with our kids and yeah. going to the same church for a while and and then starting to, hey, you accepted a job on our pond too, didn't you? It was on your, on your boat, yeah. I mean, honestly, that's that's still one of the one of the biggest days of, of my life really so <laughs> our students tell you the truth we think about it very often it's like oh, uh, that stupid boat they call it that old boat the love connection well was way more than that <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly yeah no, that was that was a super special it, it couldn't have been at a at a better at a better time or a, or on a better boat so <laughs> yes yes it's uh so we're gonna have to do more of that mm -hmm. we go so Ryan, when you when we first came down here, you were working for a chiropractor, mm -hmm. right? With with uh, Sarah and Michael, our kids, and, and yeah. then you went. You got this new job. What was the new job? Uh, it was working at an advertising agency. Um, at that time, four years ago or so, um, the advertising agency was was still considered a small ad um, place, but. Uh, over the last four years, it's it's grown um, three times as big. Um, the clients are all over the world, um, and yeah, I got I accepted a job to be a uh, photographer for them. So yeah, were you doing your personal? Were you running a little business as a photographer? I can't talk. <laughs> 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 were you running a business as a photographer too? at that time or um, freelancing on the side or yeah I was freelancing on the side I mean um, you know from from working at a chiropractic office to get into be the photographer at a you know big time ad agency you know the journey is is kind of interesting um, because I went from the chiropractic office you know kind of selling um, these deals to get people into the office as more of a salesman. And then that kind of trickled into um, creating content for the office itself. And that's whenever I started really doing more video production and photography um, and marketing, stuff like that. And then that kind of went away. And then I think there was the year, uh, I think it was 2015. Uh, Cause I remember we had, we had our second child during that time, Beckham. And uh, he, he was born, I think that year I had like five different jobs or something like that. <laughs> it was just insane. It was everything from the chiropractic office that ended, but then it went to, uh, I was uh, a tour guide at a zip line place in Gatlinburg. To, I remember that. Yeah, and which was super fun, um, but it was, I was like an hour, hour and a half away from home and, and my wife Kayla was uh, eight and a half months pregnant. So I was like, I got to get closer. And then there was that time where I, I was just like waiting tables, um, just kind of doing whatever I could to, to pay the bills, but also to be close closer to Kayla for whenever Beckham arrived. And um, and then it was like I was at a there's Kayla by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's going probably on that to get the Daisy right now. Um, she just woke up, but um, but yeah. Then there was there was a time too where I I was. I was working as a, um, I was building floors for a, for a, like a manufactured home company. And oh, that's right. I yeah, there was, there was all that within the same year. And on this, at the same time I was doing freelance photography, I was shooting weddings and, and it really anything I could to kind of make ends meet. Um, and that's kind of how I got into the advertising world is that I was, I was with a buddy and I, I asked him if he could help me shoot a wedding. Um, and that those meetings leading up to the wedding, you know, he saw, um, a bunch of potential in me just as a professional and, um, encouraged me to apply at, at um, this company and I did and, and got the job and it really just changed the tra trajectory of my, of my life and my career. 
Oh, that's so cool. So you kind of, at that time, if I remember, you kind of stopped doing as much photography, right? Because you're doing your own. Yeah. Life. Yeah. Um, I got hired there actually to shoot video, um, which was not really what I was, what it would say that I was passionate about. Um, I was more passionate about still photography. And so when I started there, it kind of, I was, you know, nobody knew who I was. My, my reel that I sent into them was basically family footage of the kids, you know, at the house. Um, I didn't have a bunch of experience in that at all. Um, but they saw something in me. I have no idea. Um, and then, uh, and then that kind of trickled into like, Hey, we need somebody who can, who can just focus on photography. And that's kind of where I stood up and was like, I would love to do that. So that's when it kind of started ramping up again, more photography. Oh, cool. Well, now we're in a crazy world right now because it, it's, uh, you know, I teach, so I'm just going back, but this COVID-19, we had talked earlier that, you know, I, I was out of school since I think March 11th. Yeah. And this affected you too, didn't it? Yeah, for sure. I, our department was, um, you know, we have about five, five or six of us, um, who focus mainly on, um, you know, content creation. So, you know, I'm the photographer, but we have this group of editors and, um, and directors of photography focusing on video. Um, and our whole department, just because everything we do, we have a big group doing it. You know, we're in a studio with 12 to 15 people and, and talent from different cities and stuff like that. So when all this kind of went down, they, um, they sent us home and was like, Hey, just kind of wait it, wait it out. And, um, as it got on and progressed, um, about two weeks or so into it, um, they, uh, they furloughed our whole department. Um, and they've kind of trickled back in. I think there's a few, um, a few shooters who are back at it, but, but yeah, it was March, March 17th, I think was the last, last day in the studio. Um, so yeah, it's been over a hundred days at home. <laughs> so it's been wild for sure. <laughs> I, I know I can hear the noise in the background. Yeah, see, I just got a text message actually is from my wife that said if they get too loud, let let me know. So let me know if it's too distracting. I can tell them to be quiet back there. <laughs> you got great kids; they don't distract me. Yeah, yeah. I think it's funny. So being furloughed, you know, because here's what I'm seeing: it's you know, I follow you on Instagram, I see you on Facebook. You're on Instagram more though, aren't you? Yeah, I'm. I'm better at it. Facebook to me, I, I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. It's just. I I, th I attach my Instagram to my Facebook just so the pictures and stuff that I share go there because there's a whole different audience for me, like mainly, you know, relatives and stuff like that from, from different States. Um, but yeah, Instagram is kind of where I, where I feel most at home. Now that's weird because I, I feel more comfortable on Facebook. Yeah. I, I think it's a generational thing. I don't know why, but I think, I think it just is. Um, it's, you just it's call weird. me old. Um, no, you are not. Yeah. <laughs> you're a fine one. Man. Smart. <laughs> now, when you say you're a talk, okay, we're going to get back to this. When I, I look at your pictures on Instagram, I've seen a, a whole different photographer coming out. Have mm -hmm. you got new equipment or are you just getting um, that much better? I think a lot of it has been, you know, from the time that I was, was furloughed and was at home, I've, I've kind of had to, I've had to figure out kind of how to be me again. Um, because, you know, when, whenever I was in the grind of the everyday ad world, you know, there's, you're just kind of um, focused in on, on each individual project and that those projects are not necessarily projects that I have come up with. They're, they're someone else's ideas. And I've kind of just had to, you know, during this time, just kind of find out what I like again. And, um, and it has changed a lot. I mean, you know, I, right now, if I, if I had to write down my dream job, it would be to be shooting um, more lifestyle adventure type stuff. Um, and I, and I think the way I got there was because I want to spend time with my family. Um, right. I want to bring my family along with me in my journey of photography. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it is one way to, to do that. So, um, so yeah, I, I haven't had any new equipment as necessarily. I mean, I did, I did buy a, a sweet new lens, um, recently, but, um, I would say for the most part, it's just been the time at home with my family has really been important and special to me. And, um, and just kind of trying to figure out how I can, how I can best be, um, the photographer that, 
that is also providing, but also, you know, providing experiences um, with my family. So, um, so yeah, I think that that's kind of what happened. <laughs> so it's been weird, but yeah, I mean, I, I just, I love my family to death. Um, and I've, I've kind of seen an opportunity with photography as a, as my trade to, um, to kind of have the best of both worlds right now. So. Oh, that is really cool. Yeah. I see it too. So when you're talking lifestyle, does that include weddings or are you? Uh, weddings are great. Any wedding? Weddings are great because they, they pay the bills. <laughs> um, <laughs> they're, and, and they're great. I mean, I, I'm a people person, as you know. Um, yes. So, so they're a great way to, um, to, you know, just be with people and, and on such a big day for the, the bride and groom. Um, it's a, it's a way that I get to, to serve and a way that I get to, um, I don't know, in some ways try to make that day even better than they thought it could be, you know? And so I, I do love weddings, but whenever I'm, I say lifestyle specifically, it's more, you know, um, it's, it's not necessarily, necessarily reality. Um, it is more of, uh, if I had a, if you had a product, you know, say, say it's a, it's a, like what I've been doing recently, it's a, it's a shirt, it's a hat, um, you know, putting though, putting that product on somebody, which lately has been some of my best friends and my wife, um, and shooting situations that, um, inspire you to want to buy that product. So for, for a lot of the stuff I've been doing lately, it's been, you know, going kayaking or going to the mountains or just hanging out, having a beer, on the porch, you know, with your friends. So, um, that kind of stuff, um, is really, I've really just enjoyed that too. Cause it's, again, it's, it's hanging out with people, um, and, um, trying to get a product sold as, at the same time. So, so Nancy and I could be a model on our pontoon. Absolutely. I, I we just have to worry about invitation. It. Yeah. I was hoping the invitation would be extended for sure. It will. <laughs> Anytime. It, it's like, we're here. It's, I would love that actually. <laughs> you just have to be careful about your camera. Because <laughs> we have had accidents out there. And I don't know what accidents, but Oh yeah, no, trust me. I, I would be I would be careful. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Ryan, it's uh I I know your darling wife is going, when's he gonna get off this interview? <laughs> no, 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 no. no <laughs> Go on. Help. If people want to get a hold of you, where's the best place for them to find you? So um like we talked about earlier, Instagram is a great way. Um, just to reach out. It's to me, it, um, you know, I, throughout the time I've, I've been using Instagram to message brands and to say, Hey, I'm, I'm Ryan, I'm in Knoxville, Tennessee. And, you know, I would love to, to shoot your product. And, you know, cause a lot of, a lot of people are looking for people to, you know, they don't necessarily have one photographer shooting for them. They have tons of photographers spread out across the country so they can get a, a vast variety of stuff. So I've been using it a lot to, to reach out to brands and that's that's really a good way to reach out to me too um so you know i um i have a wedding specific instagram but honestly my main one at underscore ryan reed r-y-a-n-r-e-a-d is really is really the best place to go um but i also have a website um which is uh just www.ryanreed.co um and there's all my stuff from weddings to brands to um, everything else. And there's a, you know, there's a contact me uh, section on that. will which will send me an email. Um, so yeah, either, either one of those are, are awesome. Oh, that's cool. I'll put those in the show notes too. Yeah. Thank Ryan, you. It's been fun. It, it really has. Thanks. Yeah, thank you, Mark. I appreciate you really. I do. Cool. Well, peace out. You go join your family. Okay. Uh, <laughs> thank hey, you. you the, invitation to the pontoon is well i was just out at norris uh state park the other day and it was like I, you know the whole way there i'm thinking i should just go past this right here and go to the boat so Good. bring our kids <laughs> hopefully soon. yeah hopefully <laughs> soon. all right you take care all right you too thank you you bet uh, wasn't that a great show ryan is such a cool dude We've been very fortunate to know him as a friend, as a family friend, but also just a personal friend. We've been very fortunate to watch he and his family grow. And I'm very excited for where he is headed because he is going to be extremely successful. I'll put how you contact him in the show notes. Remember, he has his own website, ryanreed.co. And on Instagram, it's at 
underscore Ryan Reed, I believe, but it'll be in the show notes. Y'all take care. Thanks. And we will talk again soon. Bye.